In today's video, we will creating this amazing 3D text effect floating in space complete with cinematic lens flare. You might be thinking, what's new? The internet is full of these videos, but here's the twist. I have created this 3D text effect without using Photoshop's 3D feature, which required a graphics card by the way. So even if you don't have a graphics card installed on your PC, you can still achieve this amazing effect. Not only that, you can edit the text anytime, change the lens flares, the background color and so much more. And the best part is you don't have to follow the entire tutorial. You can download the project file from the link in the video's description absolutely for free. But if you want to learn something new, let's jump to the Photoshop and get started. Okay, so quick brainstorming. First, we will create a nice and clean background for the text effect. Then we will add our text. We will extrude the text in Z space to make it 3D without using Photoshop's 3D feature, remember. Finally, we will add some effects and the final result will be in front of you. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that we need to do is to create a new document. Let's go with 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. Click on create. For the stars, let's create a new layer and call it stars. Make sure your foreground color is black. Select the pen bucket tool and click on the canvas to fill it. Convert it into a smart object so we can edit it later. Now go to filter, noise and choose add noise. Amount is 70%, distribution is Gaussian and check this monochromatic option to avoid colors and then hit OK. Now let's blur it by going to filter, blur and choose Gaussian blur. Blur it about 2 pixels and then hit OK. Now it's time to add extreme brightness and contrast. We can do that with the help of curves but in this scenario I think the threshold option will be best. So go to image, adjustment and choose threshold. Adjust the level accordingly. I wanna go with 108 and then hit OK. You can also delete this background layer because we don't need it. Now let's create a new layer for the colors. Select the brush tool, choose a soft rounded brush and pick a nice vibrant blue color. And then brush on these areas. You can also experiment with different colors. Just like this. I want to change the color one more time and brush on those areas just like this. Okay, now select both layer and put them in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Let's call it background. Next, we will add our text. So select the type tool, click anywhere on the canvas and type your text. I want to type in space. Press Ctrl Enter to confirm it and align it to the center. Now right click on the text layer and choose blending option. In the layer style menu, click on color only. Add black color with 100% opacity and then click on stroke. Size is 6 pixel, position is outside and change the fill type from a color to a gradient. Click here to edit the gradient and here select this black and white gradient. Now to achieve this shiny metallic look, we have to edit the gradient by adding different shades of gray. I'll select this preset but you can follow the step accordingly to achieve this look. Hit OK. Now convert the layer into a smart object so we can edit it later. Because this is face of our text, let's call it face. Now to give it a 3D look without using Photoshop's 3D feature, we will be creating multiple copies of the text and positioning them in a way to give it a 3D look. Luckily, you don't have to do this tedious job manually because I have created a Photoshop action that automates this process. You can download this action from the link in the video's description. Once you download it, open the folder and double click on the action to install it. Now all you have to do is to go to Windows and choose action. And there it is. Open the folder, make sure this layer is selected and play the action that says play me first. It will set up everything and ask you for the direction of the extrusion. Now since I want my extrusion in this direction, so I have to choose this bottom right action. Select it and play it several times. The more you play it, the longer the extrusion will be. Stop it when you are happy with the size of extrusion. So I'll stop right there. Now scroll back to the top, collapse it and remove the layer style effects from it. Create a curves adjustment layer on top of it and make it darker. Now as you can see it is affecting everything beneath it. To fix it, click on this clipping mask icon and it will limit the effect only on the bottom layer. And then you can adjust the curves just like this. Now select all of these layers and put them in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Let's call it 3D text, obviously. Now the last thing that we have to do is to add the lens flare. So let's drag and drop them into the Photoshop, change its blend mode to screen. Resize it and move it here. 
To change its color, press Ctrl U to open Hue and Saturation Adjustment layer. Check the Colorize option, increase its saturation, and set a nice blue color. Hit OK. By the way, you can download them from the link in the video's description. Drag and drop another one, change the blend mode, position it, and change its color. Select both layers and group them together. Let's call it Lens Flares. And now it is done. You can create a hue and saturation adjustment layer on top of everything and by moving this hue slider, you can change the color of the whole design. Now to change the text, open this group, double click on this layer and it will open another document. Here you can edit the text. Close the document when you are done and save it. Photoshop will update everything in the main document. Don't forget to download the template from the description and check out the 3D extruder photoshop action and there is a lot to discover on my store. And if you want to learn how to make a fully customizable 3D parallax text and logo design in photoshop, check out my next video. See you there. Until then, peace.